after the vote, uh, now we are looking ahead to a possible legal action. Several mm -hmm. alders hinted to it. The mayor has kind of been very uh, quiet on whether he supports it, but initially, I mean, he's one of those individuals, as many alders are, that say, hey, we don't like these other provisions that are tied to this entire deal. The city is going to get a bunch more state aid in this shared revenue package, so can they find a way around that requirement by using other sources of funds for that? That's one big question. Uh, the other thing about the lawsuit or possible lawsuit is that it is chafing Republicans who say, look, we did this as a, basically a trade-off. We don't like how Milwaukee is doing business. Going forward, now the attention, like I said, just kind of shifts to the, um, the County Board of Supervisors, who on July 27th, a lot of supervisors told me they're hinting at that is when they will take the vote. So could be closing the chapter on this. Don't forget, sales taxes aren't just paid by residents. Uh, visitors to Milwaukee pay for that as well. Important for Milwaukee has in place in 24 because you have a big convention coming to town in August 2024. Lots of visitors, lots of attention, lots of money being spent that can capture some of the additional money from the sales tax increase. Rewind. Your Week in Review is sponsored by the Wisconsin Realtors Association, bringing Wisconsin communities to life with great homes, businesses, and neighborhoods. The Wisconsin Realtors Association, the voice of real estate.